Good afternoon, friends. So checks are getting smaller. The Internal Revenue Service has just released new data regarding this tax season. A large number of households are receiving much smaller tax refund checks than last year, leaving many people surprised. But President Biden has also put forward a new debt relief plan that will assist a more targeted group of individuals. My dear friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video. Also know that in a video later today, I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter these weekly giveaway friends, please make sure that you click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on friends, the greater your chances of winning the giveaways. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to express my frustration with the Republican obsession with LNG and fossil fuels. I commend the Biden administration on this decisive and very important step uh, to fighting the climate crisis. Republicans have been making the same argument since the 90s, even as the realities of the argument has been changing. Green energy like wind, solar, hydro, they're no longer the future. They're the present, and they're now cost competitive with fossil fuels and continue to even become cheaper. Not to mention that they don't li uh, leave a lasting damage and impact to our planet that we will have to clean up later. LNG is dangerous, it's dirty, it leaves lasting environmental and health damage to the communities where it's produced. And I want to be even clearer, according to the Department of Energy, the more LNG that we export, the more expensive prices will be at the pump for gas and, how, and, it, and our electricity bills will be even higher. Additionally, LNG, which is 90% methane, heats the atmosphere at 80 times the rate of carbon dioxide. And for my fellow Floridians, who we are having hotter and hotter summers and record heats, this means even hotter summers, even deadlier summers, and faster sea levels rising. LNG is a loser for our pockets, it's a loser for humanity, it's a loser for our communities, and it is killing us. And to hear my colleagues say that, oh, the president's pandering to cl the climate movement, two things. Number one, I can only hope and pray and fight to make sure that we build off of this victory to get to a clean future, green, clean future. And the climate activists, advocates, and organizers are heroes for fighting to protect all of us, even your constituents. And so... Look, Republicans have been fighting on behalf of their friends in big oil for longer than I've been alive, and I'm just asking you for the sake of humanity, for God's sake, please find better friends. Thank you. I yield back. Tax refunds this year are much smaller than last year, and this is according to early IRS data. As of February 2nd, the average refund check is $1,395 down by 29% from last year's $1,963 average. This is based on nearly 2.6 million tax refunds, totaling about $3.65 billion. The IRS advises that this average may change as more tax returns are processed. Those who are expecting the Earned Income Tax Credit or Child Tax Credit, which is designed for low to moderate income workers, cannot legally get their refund before mid-February, which could impact the current picture. The reduced refund size is concerning for many Americans who rely on this money for major purchases, retirement savings, or debt repayment. Additionally, with high inflation, taxpayers are facing increased costs for essentials like food and rent. Taxpayers typically receive a refund if they overpaid taxes the previous year. In 2023, Nearly three-quarters of tax filers received an average refund of about $3,176. That is down 3% from the previous year. Some experts predict larger refunds in 2024 with potential increases of up to 10%, amounting to roughly $300 to $400 more than last year. This is seen as a silver lining amid the inflation crisis. So the IRS adjusts federal income tax brackets and standard deduction annually in times of high inflation. These increases become more substantial. In 2023, tax brackets 
rose by about 7.1 percent, surpassing the 5.5 percent earnings increase for the median worker in the previous year. Taxpayers have until April 15, 2024, to submit returns or request an extension. Also, according to CBS News, some of the most powerful business and political leaders in the state of Colorado are banding together to head off a historic property tax bite. The coalition includes some of the biggest supporters and opponents of Proposition HH. They have filed initial paperwork for a ballot measure that would permanently cut and cap property taxes in Colorado starting next year. For residential property, the rate would drop to at least 5.7%, and homeowners could deduct $55,000 from the taxable value of their homes. For commercial property, the rate would be cut to 25.5%. The measure also calls for the legislature to provide some level of backfill for local governments and special districts. According to USA Today, the Biden administration is proposing a new method to decide which low-income Americans could get help with their student loan debt. Under this plan, announced by the Education Department, the government would consider the challenges that people face in life that stop them from paying off their loans. Factors like having a disability or facing high expenses for essential needs such as health care or caregiving, would be taken into account. They would also look at the person's household income, assets, and age. The Education Department says this regulation could automatically help borrowers who are likely to default on their loans within two years. This could mean forgiveness for hundreds of thousands of borrowers. Advocates think it could help tens of millions in total, though the exact number is not clear to the White House yet. The announcement aligns with President Biden's commitment to keep pushing for student loan forgiveness, even after a previous plan was blocked by the Supreme Court. Progressives have been urging the Education Department to do more to help with student loan debt despite legal challenges. Advocates praise the administration for listening to their concerns. Progressive lawmakers like Senator Elizabeth Warren supported the new plan while Representative Virginia Fox, a Republican, had criticized it. The Education Department will discuss this plan with federal negotiators during their final session on student relief, which is scheduled for next week. The session was added specifically to talk about helping bars who are facing financial hardship. So, dear friends, what are your thoughts about student loan forgiveness? Please let me know in the comments section below. Well, my awesome and amazing friends that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for today my dear friends in a video later today i will be announcing several winners for the walmart gift card giveaway if you would like to enter the weekly giveaway friends do make sure that you click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch the more videos that you comment on, friends, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. Thank you, friends.